but we'll make it quick. I feel a literal breeze when you do that. <laughs> Do you smell the sage smoke? No. Oh, I do. I hate no. it. I like the smell of sage. I just don't like the smell of like smoke, like campfire. Camp. 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 Yeah, camp you've been so I don't, much. You know, I don't. Like, I don't camp. like that. You, you know, know, when I'm up in the in Ooh. the in the UP. You don't like those smoky. Oh smells. no! Too much smoke. <laughs> Listen, you should become a Patreon maybe because we have um, a part coming up soon. Real soon. Quick. Let me let me see. How many more? We're, 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 gonna do we're very accents. close. Um, 15. 15 of you. Gotta go and give us $2. That's like $2 or more. And, you know, we'll be doing it. 15. If you're sitting there and you're like, no, someone else will do it. No, someone else won't do it. You do Take it. Take action. You Take know? Action. Oh, hey, welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicole Fodi. And I'm making tons. And we're here to give you all, all things, things fuckworthy. Fuck All right, what are you here for, Titty? I am here for something that I feel like combines your interests and my interests. We love that. Someone was watching the Golden Girls on Hulu, yes. but mm. it somehow managed to load the subtitles from Buffy episodes. Oh and my so God. We have literal photos of, I thought you were just slaying a vampire. Uh, did we uh, hunt last night? I killed her. <laughs> Me who commanded armies. Oh my God. Like. I, everything. These are two of my favorite shows of all time, and Hulu did this on purpose for people like us to find it. What a crossover. Wow. I can already see the fan fiction of, like, Sophia being a fucking vampire slayer. I'm ready for it. These are the, um, the Scooby gang. I mean, I'm here. Although you never finished Buffy, which is, like... I know. <sighs> God. And I own Nikki. the entire box set too. Nikki. I feel like I'm gonna have to so start. So many people die. From Evil Willow. Oh, Evil Willow is everything. So Evil Willow is before Buffy comes back again, or after. What do you mean before? Because I know comes Buffy, back when again. Buffy comes back again, and I know Evil Willow, but I don't remember where I left off. What do you mean Buffy comes back again? You know what I mean. Buffy, as in like death. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Evil That's Willow is after. around the musical episode. Evil Willow is after that. No, because Buffy, spoiler alerts, death is end of season five. Yeah, I think that's when I ended. Yeah, and and then Willow is, Bad Willow is like season six, I believe. I probably ended like mid-season six. And then season seven is Willow coming back and not really being trusted, but we're going to try. Yep. But there are other characters that die at the end, girl, that I feel like you should know about. I feel like it's unjust for you not to know. Yeah. Because... Maybe I'll, that'll be my next uh, binge watch. I've been watching... Um, if you re-watch Buffy, or you, mm. you, you continue from wherever, mm -hmm. and you get to the last episode, I'm going to need to be there. Mm. Because I need okay. to film your reaction. All At right. a very specific point, you all know exactly what I'm talking I about. I may have seen the last episode. No, because you would be upset about it. Is it... Okay, is the last episode when... Yes. But does something else happen that you're thinking so of? They, or? they go to the school or whatever, and, yeah. and there's a huge fight, and there's a sinkhole that happens. Mm -hmm. And then I would say we lose two major characters. Do you know who those characters are? I, I don't think I remember. You would remember if you had seen it. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Ooh, I've please. been... I'm here... Okay, I was going to be here for something else, <coughs> but I'll save it for next time. I'm here for Leah Remini's series on um, Hulu. I haven't watched it yet. It's about so Scientology. And it is so wild that like that it exists. I'm never shocked. Like they have I it, first of all this show came out in like 2016. I didn't even realize or maybe I did and I just forgot. Uh, but yeah, it's on Hulu it. now. Okay. And like she talks about her experience yes. and like being literally stalked yeah. and like threatened yeah, by I'm people sure. in the church, I'm sure. the church, and I'm then sure she like a bunch of other Scientologists, and she she's yeah like Tom defectors, Cruise, John Travolta. Well, she doesn't talk to them because they're still in it, but well, she yeah. talks to other people who have left, who have been like shunned by their families, and like 
It is uh, wild. It's like so extra. Y'all don't need to get shunned from your families over religion. You could do it over literally anything. <laughs> it's so easy. Just hold your parents accountable. Watch how quickly it happens. It's incredible. But I, um, I suggest if you're looking for something <coughs> new to binge watch, <clears throat> Uh, look for that. I forgot what the show is called, but just search Leah Remini on just Hulu. Just look up Scientology and see what pops up. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, I want to say it's great. It's not great in terms of like, I love this. That, this that makes this me is happening. feel good. It's great in terms of like an expose sense. Oh, I'm going to do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll check it out. So today I want to talk about my friend oh, who is... Yeah, I saw this. So if you don't know, Amina Mucciolo, who is also known as Studio Mucci, <clears throat> who is also known as Tassel Fairy, she Loves is multiple like, names. Love yes. it. Yes. First no of all... No one will ever say Megan Tanjas, also known as... Well, the poison of YouTube. Tanjas okay. ML. Tanjas ML. Meg you know? CT. Uh, the biggest bully on the site. What a the time. poison of YouTube. The poison of YouTube. Um, right. All of these honorifics. Mine are daunting. <laughs> you got tassel but fairy and like rainbow life, and I'm just like literally well, like the and brightest. Poison. If you don't know Amina, she is very into like happy, like rainbow, bright colors, like all, yes. all of that kind of stuff. Yes. And she designed her apartment mm -hmm. um, years ago. Mm -hmm. I think we might have talked about it on What the Sweet Fuck. Like, honestly, we might have. We might have popped it up. Because... So I did a photo shoot, or we did a photo shoot together for It's Sugar, like a couple years ago. She was immediately one of my favorite people. She's so sweet. And her style is amazing. Just happiness, you know, it's like candy. visual. And so she designed her kitchen or her whole apartment in these like bright colors. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, her building manager or her landlord said that they wanted them out of their apartment yeah. by October or by the end of October. Yeah, something they like refused to take their rent payment. Right. Which I also feel like there's some renter's rights situations going on here. Like, I feel like you need, like, 60 days or something. Like, there's, like, mm. a certain amount of time, and it's just suspicious. And <clears throat> she fully disclosed that she asked to have an extension, like, can they pay rent late this mm -hmm. month? And then they came back and said, no, you can't. We want you out. Oh. But then, suspiciously enough, Lisa Frank um, had a collaboration with Hotels.com, mm -hmm. where in... The same development, and you can see in the pictures, it is the same design, like yeah, it's the same, the breakdown. same layout, mm -hmm. and like yes, Lisa Frank is this rainbow happy design, but the fact that it's the same building manager or the mm -hmm. same like property manager, whatever, and it's for a pop up. It's for a pop up <clears throat> hotel, and then they wanted Amina and to get out. The question... It's just too. Something is it's not weird. right. Something's weird. I also don't understand what the intention of the landlord is. Are they like, here's here's where my, my mind goes. So they're doing a pop-up with Lisa Frank for two weeks, right? So people are clamoring to get these like hotel tickets, whatever, selling out. But they essentially have another apartment that's designed exactly like that. And for me, it almost seems like as a business proposition, it would be like, okay, we have this pop-up with Lisa Frank. But once that's done, we have an apartment that looks exactly like that, that we can start marketing out as a place for people to stay, do photo shoots, influencers, whatever. It would just be very interesting if, I mean, this is what I would spitefully do. If I'm being forced to move out and I've done all this work, I'm painting all that shit fucking white. I'm painting over everything. Yeah. I don't even want you to have the opportunity to possibly list this or use this in any kind of way that's beneficial to you. I'm coming in and I'm painting over fucking everything. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's <sighs> fucked up. I, it's the also the downside of renting from places. It's just like they could at any point decide like, okay, we're done with you now. And you're like, uh, who the fuck has enough money to move? Much less mm -hmm. pay first and last month deposits and all this shit. I mean, renting is such a scam. It's such a scam. It just like... Life is such a scam if we're really going to break it down, but... It just... The fact that it came out of nowhere and then this mm. pop-up is happening at this... 
And Hotels.com has not been helpful. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely not. Not at all. No. Hotels is like, hopefully you can get it worked out. Love your style. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I, I, I just, hate it. I feel yeah. bad because, like, obviously she fell in love with this place because yeah. she put so much work into it. Yeah. And she's being kicked out because Hotels.com wanted a Lisa Frank moment mm-hmm. without having any, like... Competition, I guess. But or... that doesn't even make sense to me. I don't... I think it's... My vibe is more the landlord sees the opportunity financially to have a place like that to like Airbnb to rent out and mm-hmm. wants it for that, which is why I would say spitefully paint that shit all white, like back base color. And hopefully the money that's being raised or crowdfunded or anything for this will go into getting Amina into as heartbreaking as an apartment where like we can be in for an extended period of time. Because this is what it says to me. It says that the property manager obviously knows what her apartment looks like mm-hmm. and got the idea to rent out one of their spaces to Mm -hmm. Lisa Frank or however this started, Mm -hmm. the property manager knew Mm -hmm. that there already existed an apartment in their building Mm -hmm. that was similarly designed. Mm -hmm. And also what doesn't make sense about it, it's like, it would be one thing if the apartment manager was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And so they were getting rid of a bunch of people from this apartment. But if it's very focused and singular, that is just a little suspicious with the timing. Yeah. And this is like all of the things, all of the media that she has done. And it's like, yeah, I remember this. And it's like all of these articles and stuff. Mm -hmm. It just, it would be so much easier for Lisa Frank to just collaborate. <laughs> to hotels that Wouldn't that collaborate. make sense? Wouldn't that make sense? I mean, I'm almost I'm shocked that Lisa Frank didn't turn around and try to sue Amina just because they're claiming their own visual aesthetic or whatever. Mm. And that's the kind of shit that happens in this country. Uh, I just, I'll, I'll link the her tweet, Instagram post, her video. So that if you want to, you can share it because I feel like Mm. Shame. Something shame, needs to happen. Shame. Like there's, they need pressure put on them to yeah. like fix this. Yeah, true. This is me and uh, everyone else, all the other unicorns coming to uh, to fight. Yeah, just showing up to fight. <laughs> I do love showing up to fat. To fat. I love showing up to fat, and I love showing up to fight. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't give a fuck about Lisa Frank. Um, but I love Amina's style. Mm-hmm. So whatever Amina's doing, way better, way more necessary. And like, God, everything is so I want to know Jesus all Christ. of the details of how this came to be. I want to know if Lisa Frank is aware. I want to know if Hotels.com is aware or if this is just a big... Uh, Hotels.com is definitely aware because they DM'd Amina and they were Oh, like, no, now they are. But oh, I'm saying yeah. before. Like, was it just the property manager? Because. Mm. If this pop-up was like anywhere else, yeah, it just the fact that it's, it's the in the same company. fucking building, I just that's mm, weird. Mm. That's weird. Don't like it. I don't like it either. Though. And listen, I love Lisa Frank too. You, you I I want to hope she's not in the know. I want to hope she's finding out about it now. I did see this morning Lisa Frank or whoever runs the Lisa Frank Instagram account has been watching Amina's stories. Yeah. So. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I don't social, know what's going the on. The team is aware. Yeah, this is a pretty good indication of who I am. Correct. Every time I see something that just doesn't need to be happening, it just could be so easy for us mm-hmm. all to just fucking stop. Yeah, well, I just, you know, listen, it's hard enough to find a fucking place to live and just be able to pay rent. And so for any company to make it harder and not be transparent about it, all right, we'll see you in hell. You and Christopher Columbus, bye. You know- Everyone's going to the same hell. Do you know? Going to hell? You know these BBs? Oh, I do know these BBs. They're also going to hell. <laughs> well, actually, these BBs, <laughs> I lied. These BBs are the only ones that are saved. The right. rest of you are going to hell. And mm-hmm. so the only way that you can make sure that you don't go to to eternal damnation mm-hmm. is to pledge $2 or more per month at patreon.com. It's been Facebook. proven. We've seen the signs. I know. I've talked to the Lord. And so, you know, this is just- Power of Christ compels you to give you to give us your credit card. How do you feel about doing a little ASMR for these special BBs? I would love to do an ASMR. A little preview of the whole ASMR episode we got coming to. up. I would love to. <clears throat> Martine Hubert. Oh, I want a little Martine in my mouth. We love you so much. Thank you for being a BB. Yes. Satan. Satan, my demon daddy. I pledge to you everything that Nikki owns.
We also want to give a mm, to Wyatt Eaton. Wyatt Eaton out my fucking heart. Jordana Cordovi. <laughs> Jordana, uh, I always think, I don't know why I'm thinking of Punky Brewster. Uh, Jordana Punky Brewster. Is is the, the actress's name Jordan? Jordan? No, it's Salil Moonfry. All right, well. I don't know why I know that. <laughs> I wow. can spell it too. I think there's a hyphen in that bitch. Amazing. I don't know. Sometimes you grow up in the 80s and there's not much to know. Katie Golden. Katie, my golden child, my golden baby. Christian Geraldo Garcia. Christian, I don't know what fashion line this is, but I need it on my body. Shoe designer. Chelsea yes. Gleason. Chelsea, apparently Glee is coming back on like Netflix. And are you a, kidding? And it's like a camp class at Gleason. The kids oh. are talking about it. Liam Trennell. Liam, I want a little trenolm in my mouth. Brandon Hughes. Brandon, uh, I love the hues of your face. Cat Water Flame. Oh, Cat Water Flame. That's the best name. It's I don't so know, good. You're so fortunate. Jessica True Blood Riddle. Jessica, Eric and Sookie for life, True Blood Riddle. Sammy Sue. Sammy Sue Sosa. Devince Alvarado. Devince, can you be like one of your French girls, Alvarado? Lawrence Colden. Lawrence, it's cold in here. You know there might be some, some in the atmosphere. Sebastian Whitaker. Uh, Sebastian, I want you to write my novella, Whitaker. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XLXS. AJ Avacia. AJ, I want to talk to you about uh, the amount of money you're spending on food lately, Avacia. Tamara Moongrave. Tamara, the only bitch that cares about me and truly Nikki Moongrave. Sam Brodor. Sam, it's too much. Brodor. Evan Blue. Evan's so blue without you. Stephanie. Stephanie. Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong on the way to my heart. Pam Gallegos. Pam, I want to talk to you about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Gallegos. And William Harvey. I don't see no shit, Harvey. We also want to go mm. to all the BBs on the screen and the BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs. Oh. Please join us in the afterlife. A little. Mm -mm. Patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. Ooh. 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 Thanks, BBs. I hate it so much. I hate that that's what you naturally go into. I know. What kind of demon you are. It's just like, you know, the pleasure demon comes out. It's the only time you feel pleasure. <laughs> I pray that's not what pleasure sounds like in your home. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that I turned it oh, into oh, a turkey oh, 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 a little bit. You did. You are a little turkey. And like any mm -hmm. other turkey, I can't wait to slaughter you. Little butterball turkey ass bitch. I'm gonna stuff all your orifices <laughs> full of breadcrumbs and seasoning, bitch. I'm a base that ass. <laughs> I don't know how to cook a turkey. I've never cooked a turkey in my fucking life. Are you kidding me? I'm from the Midwest. All the moms and grandmas take care of that shit. I'm not doing that. You can find me most places at Stanley Wake, at least until Megan kills me. You can find me at Megan Tonjas. I'll be here before and after Nikki's death. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only kind of before and after I'm here for. <laughs>